All right, Wilder Wonder, we're here in the lab at Callaway HQ, and I'm excited to finally hit, for the first time, the Apex TIE Fusion. It's an iron I've heard whispers about. I've seen it, it looks beautiful. Uh, I got my guy, Zach Oakley, over here. He's gonna explain to me the hows, the what's, and the whys. Uh, we're in the lab, Apex TIE Fusion time. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Oakley, this is kind of your baby. This is one of your yeah. passion projects here. This is one that we've been working on for quite some time, uh, and it's uh, it's a showstopper. Okay, um, well let's let's talk. I'm gonna put it over here. I want just grab it and explain to me what what I've I've seen it enough now. I've been googling over it for like the last half hour. So, what what do we have? Yeah, so the Apex Type Fusion is really all about an industry first construction. Okay. Um, the Callaway R&D team had to basically go reinvent a way to make this iron. Uh, the reason being is that we have a forged titanium face and a steel body, two materials that don't like to mix together right. very well. And really the whole point is that titanium is giving us a lot of benefits, right? It's lighter than steel, which is what you typically see in an iron. Right. Uh, so it gives us some weight savings. It's also incredibly strong. Okay. Um, so you're going to see a lot of ball speed with this. It's but just in general, your sweet spot's gonna be a lot bigger. Uh, you got the forge body in there as well, helps with stability. The sound on these is incredible. Right. And I think that's something I'm really excited to see you hit because when I've seen other people hit this, that's the first thing they comment on is how the great acoustics. these sound. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna see speed, you're gonna see sound, and then the spin consistency, and I'm really excited to see that as well because typically in a construction like this, you, you get some hot spots, right? right. Uh, but with what we're doing with AI and also the titanium, we're seeing spin consistency that's similar to like an Apex CB. So, okay, wow, okay. Uh, it, it is kind of an interesting combination, right? If you're a better player who's looking to get a little bit of pop, something that's you know gonna sound really good, uh, but you know typically you shy away from those types of irons just because you're worried about spin, this isn't gonna be, this is gonna be a good iron for you. So then if you set the iron down, this is a true player's iron. I yeah, mean, this is like... It's going to sit kind of where I'd say closer to where Apex Pro is. So it's yeah. going to be a player-friendly shape. So let's hit a few. The black-on-black -black situation right now is like, it's pretty awesome. Like that was a complete, I got to be honest, like that was a complete mishit, but it felt amazing. Like I hit that down here. So the way that my iron game is, and we talked about a little bit, I hit a lot of shots thin. I don't hit them really out here very often. It's always, if I don't hit it here, I hit it really thin, so. Oh, definitely more forgiving uh, all across the face. Yeah, okay. Up, down, heel, toe. That's that was a, a good strike right there. A little there. bit better, yep. And again, these aren't really hard swings. I'm just trying to kind of chipping them out there. So the difference between this and I would say like AI 200 or something like that is that's, you know, I'm. 500 RPMs more on this yep. than it was there. Yep. Okay. That's the titanium right That's there. That's interesting. They feel amazing. But the acoustics, like, I'm, I've been kind of living a groove low the whole time, and they sound, they sound amazing. I gotta yeah. say that the dispersion, dispersion's pretty damn good. 18, 62, 87. Wow. That was your fastest speed yet. Your spin rate and your carry were all within a good range there. Yep. That was pretty close to the middle. A little pulley, but like that's solid. 5,000 spin, okay. That was a little bit pulley, so the spin went down. But still launching yeah. it for a seven iron, launching at 20, that ball's still stopping on the green. Yeah, that's another thing too. The the titanium, just the way it deflects, your launch is gonna be higher as well. Right. Just easier to launch. One thing I gotta say for the people, you know, for the folks at home when you're finally set these down, it's one thing for us to sit there and tell you how good these things look. Until you actually set this thing down behind the ball, it's unbelievable looking for an iron that offers this much performance. As far as what this does versus Maybe AI 200, how would you separate them? Like if you're gonna explain it to somebody. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest difference, you know, you look at the AI 200, that's gonna be, you know, a little bit more towards that game improvement space. Right. This is more compact. So you're gonna get performance like you would out of an AI 200, but in a player profile. Okay. And that, that's really the biggest difference between AI 200 and TIE Fusion. And I think there'll be some players too that, you know, could play AI 200, but they wanna have 
I mean, let's be real. This is an awesome looking club. Just the oh whole God. story is awesome. Yeah. Uh, for someone that's, you know, looking for that. This is a no brainer. Yeah. And it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say it any better. I mean, that's really what this is. Uh, so if you have any more questions on Apex Type Fusion, uh, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website. But I got to say here, like I've done a, hundreds of videos for Callaway now. This is unique. Like this is, you know, we make breakthroughs every year. Like I remember when we did the first Paradigm videos, like that whole story, but like this is, this is different. So excited for this to, to get to you guys as consumers uh, and all the uh, gearheads out there, but I think this thing's gonna kill. See, it's Johnny Wonder from the lab with Zach. We're out of here.